alright with me? Dream Team's alright? Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm Roy, I coach Destroy, this is Warn Dog. Coach of the Warn Dogs. This is Calvin. Coach of the Calvinators, Roy, and I'm not happy. Oh, oh I didn't not? see you slip that thing on. Oh, I've had it on all week. I'm not really happy. Yeah, right. We are around the grounds. Yep. I'll start oh, us off. I'm not happy, and I don't think I should be wearing the green vest. Why not? <laughs> I certainly shouldn't. No, you're right. Oh. I shouldn't be. Him and I. Oh, this was amazing. This was actually Story amazing. Story of the year. It is. It is. Him and I, and I, when I refer to him, I'm speaking of the W dog <laughs> down the other end. We were, we were tied. We were level. Right? The siren went. And the, our scores were level. Like 2021. 20, uh, 2021. 2021. Yeah. 2021 H. I think it was. They adjusted the scores. Of course they did. Vested <laughs> later. Oh, I have any points? I lost like five points in the adjustment. And I must have lost. You lost about three or three something. Three or something. Now, I tweeted Pete at Virtual Sports. Oh, yeah. What did he have to say? <laughs> and I said, Pete, Test what the measure. hell have you done, mate? I said, this is ridiculous. Oh, it's not my fault. No, no, no. Anyway, I'm vested. And it's by that much. And it, if it happens again, I'm not wearing it. Yeah, pretty bloody close. My score there, yeah, 2019. So I got you by three. Pretty amazing. Three. It was an amazing miss tackle. It was an amazing actual set of stuff that happened. Yeah. I was getting there, I was thinking, shit, we've tied, I've got to make a new little header graphic because I didn't do one where two of us no. won the vest. We didn't know what we were going to do tonight and what we were going to wear, but anyway, that's how it worked. That was my score. I slipped him in the rankings, but destroy, how did you end up? Oh, I was solid. What did I have? 2024, so. So you only had a couple more points than us. I was just ahead of these boys. Now, what I found very funny, <laughs> well, <laughs> funny, but. Um, in that last game, we had uh, you know not many unique players, except that I had Pendlebury. So we've got this little three-way message thing. We get through the weekend sending each other a few messages. These two all depresso, oh, who's going to get the green vest out of me and you? Then Pendles went down at half time. Yeah. All of a sudden, I was back in the mix, and they were all up and about for a second. Oh, I was never up golden and about. Golden boy, golden boy still Until came through. Pendles had just done enough by about four points to get me. How did your captain go this way? He nearly outscored Selwood. Did you know that? I oh, know. That's terrible. I know. That is terrible. Um, captain, I went steel and well, Why would you go steel? it was highly disappointing. However, yeah. the the um, the statistics that we had leading up to it meant there was no one else I was even considering. Even Ablett's form... Um, you know, versus Collingwood hadn't been good. So no. I wasn't, I don't think I even put a vice captain on him. I thought Steele was safest 100 in the books. That's why I went for him. Turns out to be an absolute shocker, but I just had heaps of shocking stuff happen. That was that was only one of them. So, you know, I'm not too disappointed. Steele had a bad one. Riscatelli sacrificed any form of decent football to make it happen. So I'm surprised they put that much work into it. Yeah. I, I couldn't predict that, nor could the pirate. Oh, Alright, we'll hear from the pirate later. We will. Let's see who you should have put the uh, C on. The Golden Stubby Award for this week. We didn't even require a poll. Some people got a bit up and about about that. But oh, anyway, oh, they didn't like it. Oh, everyone deserves the blah, blah. Oh, I don't know. It's not a democracy. <laughs> exactly. We choose. We do what we want. Yeah. We'll read the poll anyway. Yep. Yeah. Make it happen. Anyway, here we go. We had um Buddy Franklin, two hundred and four points. It's a world record. World record. Well it's deserved. A, it's a world all of that sort of stuff. So great stuff. And it happened here in Launceston. Oh, Sensational no. so by the big game. Gave him extra bonus points. <laughs> yeah. Right. So what well up, Buddy? The golden stubby is I don't know where it is at the moment. No. I don't know. You lost Buddy it. probably come around here and stole it. Um well well they played down here though, Roy. You yeah. got to catch up with Grant I did. Now, he's one of our favourites. He is a favourite, Roy. Really. Yes. So, is your, do you, you would have put him in your team then? Oh, yeah. Did you? No. Oh, well, he's I'll not be. your favourite, then, is Have he? he's in your team, is he? Not this year yet. <laughs> but he will be. And this is why. Premiership player. He is. All right, we're lucky enough to be here with one of our favourites, Grant Birchall. So welcome to the show, Birch. Thanks very much. Uh, you're coming off a really good win today. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, it was a great win. We needed to respond after last week. It was obviously very disappointing. So, um, yeah, the boys put in a great effort today and um, 
think most of the uh, most of the guys out there in the public, if you had a fair few Hawthorne supporters, um, Hawthorne players, you end, end up pretty happy, I reckon. Yeah, well, definitely on that, I was uh, sitting there watching the game and Buddy was on four points just right near the end of the first quarter. And I said to Warney, I'm a bit disappointed with Buddy lately. Next minute, I look and he's on 204. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, unbelievable. I've seen a couple of games um, where he's just turned it on, but nothing nothing like that before. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you had him as your, as your skipper this weekend, you'd be pretty happy, I reckon. Well, that'd be ridiculous. It'd be some sort of record for the past 10 years, I reckon, 204. So, yeah. amazing. Now, you, uh, you came good late in the game to get to 90. What was your secret there? Oh, yeah, look, the game started to break uh, wide open towards the end and started to open up, so... Um, yeah, it was fortunate enough to get a couple of cheap ones towards the end, and um, yeah, I guess it all adds up, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly right. That's what we want, Birch. Now, you're, uh, you've been on a lot of people's radar lately because you had a couple of injury-affected games, so your price came down. Yeah. What can we expect from you for the rest of the year? Yeah, no, nah, look, body's, body's feeling great at the minute, so um, over the little knee injury um, that happened a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, fit and firing, and um, hopefully put in a performance like we did today every week. And that role we can expect from you is that across half back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah, that's where I've played most of my footy throughout my career. So I don't think uh, much will change this year. And uh, yeah, just continue to play my role down back, and, and we'll see what happens. Now, personally, with your uh, with your dream team, who's your go-to captain most weeks? <laughs> after uh, after today, yeah, you're gonna have to go, buddy. But um, oh, generally, most weeks it's Gary Ablett. Um, just accumulates the footy and we all know how dangerous he is forward to the centre so he'd be uh, he's, he's the ideal man I think Yep. Now Mitchell's been a bit up and down lately after a massive start to the season he's copped a, a lot of attention with hard tags yep. um, what do you see for him for the rest of the year would it be good picking him up since he's bottomed out in price? Yeah perhaps so um, as you said the last sort of month or so he's copped some uh, heavy tags um, but uh, to his credit, he still plays his roles, creating a lot of two and ones and um, doing his bit for the side. And um, he still gets 20 odd possessions no matter what, what the situation is. So, um, sounds like yeah, a pretty safe bet. He's a pretty, yeah, he's yeah, pretty yeah, safe Yeah, I like bet. it. Um, is there anyone we should have on the radar from your boys? Um, well, geez, I don't know. Um, if, we, if we keep switching the footy and. Uh, and um, yeah, using the ball well, I don't know, maybe a few of the midfielders or a few of the halfback, halfback guys can uh, accumulate some points. Now, a boy I had last year, Shieldsy, yeah. um, used to rack it up for me. I noticed today he, um, he was tagging and he was yeah. right down on numbers. Scares yeah. me. What, what's he going to be doing the rest of the year, you reckon? Yeah, look, I don't know. It sort of depends each week on the opposition we play, but um, no, he did a great job on Harvey. Um, it's usually, you know, Sewell or Lewis having that sort of role but today I was pup and he was terrific so um, I just think I guess it just depends on the opposition week to week. Yep sounds good. Now Birch um, you're a great value at the moment I want you to look down the barrel of the camera and tell people why they need to get you in for the remaining weeks. <laughs> oh look I don't know mate it uh Mate, if you slot me in there, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best. That's all I can say. <laughs> well, that's all we can ask, right? That is all we can ask. Thanks heaps, Grant. No worries. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm kicking off proceedings here with the massive game Friday night. The Blue Boys, my boys what? versus the Cats. Against my boys. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are they winning at the moment? Do you want? Yeah, go yeah, on. All right. All right. Yeah. Amongst the cats, don't you, mate? I love it. Now, there's big news. Big news for the Blues. Um, Cruiser is back in, which is going to save a lot of people from that uh, hammy that he was carrying last yeah. week. Scotland, though, Aye. as if as if anyone needs that going into the buys, and he's going to be gone right throughout those buy rounds. Yep. I'd like to say to hold him, but far out. Think, there's yeah. no hope. Like, my worry is, Cars, we've seen a few of them this year. We have. And uh, where's your sound of it, Cal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've seen a couple because old oh, Christensen, yeah. he, what, he missed three weeks and then played in the VFL with that. Yeah. Um, there was uh, Heater, he's got his, yeah. and he isn't known this week, we'll get to that later, yeah. but quite um, a few. And Kelly, Scotland, Kelly came back after one week. With yeah. His. Scotland's 31. Old man injuries, Cars. Yeah, and they, they need him for the run home. I, 
Look I, I hate thinking of tr- trading these gun players, yeah. but he's someone that nearly the, needs the to go. The positive about think. him, though, is that he is worth a lot. So you are going to get pretty much yeah. who you want for him when you do trade him. So yeah. that's one bonus. Very interesting one. Now, for the Cats, there is massive changes here. And I'll tell you what, it's making their side a whole lot better. Um, Joel Corey, Corey Enright, Wojo is in, Hawkins is back, and Motlop, who's been playing a ride as well. They are all back, and a heap of kids are out. Yeah. So their team is that much stronger. They're scoring when they've got a good team on the park too. Yep. When they're dominating, high possession. they are high possession. And they got rid of the kids, so I think that's good for any Geelong player. Um, anyone that owns Geelong players, sorry. Um, Smets, yeah. he's been handy for people. He's out along with a heap of other kids. That's, so. Yeah, that's the thing. And none of the guys that you would have hoped would have been here this yeah, week just to, to save you zero. Save you some zeros, but yeah. yeah. Um, Christensen, no good. No, Again. no. VFL. No to be seen. So, VFL, he got knocked out. Apparently hurt his shoulder in that as well. Yeah, so. and it was late in the game. Yeah. If he had every chance to be in the best players, and he wasn't. And so will he now have to? He'll have to come back he's to the twos again when he's back. Yeah. So very yeah. interesting with Christensen. I have held him for a lot of weeks, and it feels yeah. stupid to now trade him. But he nearly leaves no choice at the moment. Tigers versus the Dockers. Um, Dia back in and. A rookie. We've got fresh a bit of fresh mate here. Bit of um, fresh mate. Oh, Hanlon. Mate. He's a massive unit. He was picked 12 in the preseason draft. He's a forward. He's named on the bench. Um, it will be very interesting to see his role up forward. They've got a couple of, you know, yeah. recognised forwards up yep. there. So, But they've put him in for a reason. Foley. He's a unique pick this year, but he is actually omitted and... He's been playing some pretty decent football, scoring all right from what I've told. Yeah, I've never yeah. looked at his numbers, but I know one or two people that own him, and they've I've been reasonably happy with him. I haven't looked at him since round one last year, actually. Yeah, oh. I remember that. Mm. that. That brought tears. Now, for the Dockers, <laughs> there's some pretty big news. Subin and Griffin in. That is not so much the big news. The big news is Duffman. Man. Few and have got him. Yep. My boy. Yep. Few have got him. Backline Ouch. carnage continues with Duffman. Out. Is that omitted? Is he injured or what? He's been dropped. He's been dropped, yeah. Mm. Ross Lyon said they were going to swim the axe. Oh, uh, after last and the Duff. In. And the Duff was at the end of it. Oh, yeah. ouch. That's not pretty. Who so, else is, oh, you know who else is actually not there? Another one of these defenders that we might have relied on is Spur. Yeah. He got on him yeah. a couple of weeks ago as the thing, yeah. and then he scored all right he in, did the, too. in that game, and then everyone's all like, oh, you idiots for not trading out, buddy. Yeah. Um, Ellis to do that, that. and yeah. then, yeah. Yeah, um, Zach Clark out as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, the big man. Yeah. All right, cool, Calvin. I reckon you're kicking off the next game. I don't know. I've got Gold Coast and St Kilda. Now, this one's up at Metricon. Now, St Kilda are unchanged. Now, firstly, that's a little bit surprising in itself. They're obviously resting no one. They're taking up their full team. So that's cool. However, Clinton Jones is there. We'll talk about him in a minute. Mm. Gold Coast starters. Mm. Horsley, out. Isn't that? We're hanging on. We expected it. He scored 38 last week. I braced myself for it. Didn't get a touch in the first quarter. He got subbed out because of a poor performance. He now get well rested, they call it, but he's been dropped. That's a drop in. And he gets vested. They're resting yeah. him, yet naming him as an emergency. He's an emergency. So he it might as well have said, dropped, get a kick. Yeah. I'm going to keep him on my ground, though, just in case he gets back in. You idiot. He's not getting back in. Well, he might. What are you doing with Horsley? Pissing him off. I'm trading him too. See ya! Put Massive break even 112, so that's an issue. It is, especially the way he's been going. Early on, you'd go, yeah, you could probably have well, that. Well, our maths and all that sort of stuff, two weeks ago, we would have gone, geez, how nice would have that looked when he, in round 12, at the end of round 12, yeah. we'd have his by round 13. There's a nice little, it, a small amount to upgrade to it a is, premium. It is unfair of anybody to expect someone to continue at such a high standard. Agreed. He's new to the AFL yes. level, yes. etc. But, 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 but he's a veteran. Honestly. Horse. Horse. Is Pony. Pony. <laughs> Pony. The other good Pony. news for uh, the uh, Suns before we move on. Ablett's playing? Out with this point. Aaron Hall saves, 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 saves a lot of people. Already. He'll get a gig on the grounds for a lot of teams this yeah. um, this week. Other game I've got there, Essendon versus Swans. Guess what? Bombers. Guess what? 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 Our boy's back. Heppel. 
Yes. He's, now that is the news I needed. He's I'm back up and about. Remember <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I was throwing paper yeah. and I was angry. Look at me now. Yeah, you wait till he pushes out 50. I'll take it. Yeah, Red good man. point. I'll take it. Good point. Heads back in Thanks, for the Ted. Swans. Man, that's massive. For the Swans. Mal Chesky is back in. That might, few people have him. Yeah. Uh, big one there is Parker. He's out. A few people have him. But we thought we might have seen Tom Mitchell. I thought he'd be there this week. We thought we might have seen Tom Mitchell. He does not get a gig. And he's not even named emergency. So, a bit of a slap in the oh, face. Oh, mate, Cunningham. He is an emergency. And he's probably just ahead of him now because he's been upgraded to the yep. senior list. So, so he's one. those who have been waiting for Mitchell, who's been dominating. Smashing uh, it. In the, is he playing in the Apple? Yeah, would be the yeah. Apple. So, he just, well, everyone thought, well, Parker out. He might get the next spot. He hasn't, so he's missed it. He will be very handy later in the year if he gets one. For sure. He will get one. Wondell. All right, let's go into the Sunday game. The first one I've got here, nice extended benches, Port Adelaide and Hawthorne. Um, Port Adelaide, Joe Redden, he's there. Extended bench, hopefully he stays there. Please. He's been one where we've Please. been kissed on the little penile about that one. McCarthy's back in for those people that have got him. I reckon a lot of people did offload him, upgrade him um, after Pretty decent stuff. Yeah, it, was it, right. wasn't, it, was it wasn't right. the worst pick. No. Um, pokes out with a foot for Hawthorne. Jordan Lewis, he's another one of these ones that are going to cause havoc for people. He got suspended for two weeks if you've missed that. So that means he will be out every game of the buy rounds. <laughs> oh, that um, they are <laughs> debuting, although he is on the extended bench. Taylor Duraya, he is... He's a cool name. He's yeah. only little. 179 centimetres. Is he really? He's 21. He's been on the list for a while because I can remember seeing his name there all the time. $104,000 mid. One to watch. You wouldn't be getting him in this week because he is on the extended bench still too. We'll fire that out Friday afternoon. All right, so that's that game. But let's get into the Monday game. And this one causes a few headaches. Mainly because yes. it's Monday and that means that our final teams, so our final 22s, aren't announced until Saturday afternoon, so after lockout, obviously. So the things that we can see there, Melbourne, they've got Frawley back in. Um and Magna is in the guts break, even at 67. So he's actually working nicely to get a score, trade him out after this weekend, I think, and yeah. go up a Good little bit. Good luck to it, Magna. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Put in a big one at your last game with us. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep, yeah, and obviously he'll be on the ground. He'll probably be like midfielder number three for a lot of coaches. Already he's, this probably, week. he's in my captain calculations. <laughs> is he? Yeah. Um, all right, so for Collingwood, now the big news there is obviously Dane Swan is back. So yeah! yeah. Two weeks. Captain Cadillac. Two weeks. Woo! Dan Swan has got him back. Hang on. Have you got him, Doc? No, I will after the buy side. Do you know um, what some people have been saying to me about What, Roy? What? <laughs> and what have you been saying to them? <laughs> No way, <laughs> wankers. No way. <laughs> you know who's been saying it? No. Him. Oh, he's tight. He wants he's him. tight. He's, he's tight. tight. traded him. Yeah, he's Eat a big fat one. Um, the other one is Pendles. <laughs> is, of course, oh, out. Oh, so God. here you go. <laughs> I like a bloody hot air balloon that's off to its hot air. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, Pendles, what's the story, boys? Is he going to play after the buy? I have, read, I have read every article about Pendlebury this week multiple times and two to six weeks. What the hell is two to six weeks? It's an odd. That is ridiculous. It's you know, back nearly the same situation as when Ablett um, got injured. Yeah. yeah. It's, that, it's so vague and it's so, oh, I need time between now and December, but you'll come and the play. The pattern that I'm seeing this year, because I've had – you know, a fair bit of experience with injured guns <laughs> yeah. this year. Um, oh, no, they're going to be back soon. Oh, like they're, they're hoping up. to be back, you know. Yeah. Uh, they only want to miss one or two. Yeah. They only want to miss one or two. Yeah. Well, what a surprise that everyone doesn't want to miss as much as it could be. The surgeon begs to do take that. nothing out of that. This is I'm really think. concerned. Yeah. I think it's going to be almost unique to keep him. Yes. And because my team through the buys now – is looking an absolute mess. I think I might try to keep him. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. It's keep. A, it's missing out on. Uh, he will miss three. He will miss his two. Yeah, he'll miss all the bye weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Back in round four. So I am missing two hundred points. I believe best case scenario. Yeah. Aren't I? Yeah. Because yeah. I could straight. They play West third. Coast in the third week of the bye, so round thirteen. Is it over there? I'm pretty sure it's in Melbourne. Right. So, 
If oh, it was over there, you'd nearly rule him out. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's a tough one. It is. That's something that we might talk about in a bit with some more donut stuff. The other things that are of note for the Collingwood game is that Marley Williams, he is the midfielder at our grade. Yeah, 85 grand. Yeah. cheap, isn't he, Calvin? Yeah. So he, um, he was pretty good last week. Yeah, yeah. halfback flank he is. So he's on the ground in that extended bench, which we won't know the final squad of. But old mate Jamie Elliott, which a few people have jumped on, I've noticed in the assistant coach yeah. there too, yeah. that he's one of the most traded in players for this week. Kicked three he's goals. That, yeah, he was good. Had a hundred. Um, he is on the extended bench. So, oh, what is he worried about that? Yeah. What's the bad news about that dog? What's the bad news oh, about that? that is for we won't find out. We won't find out. And that's what I was already said. We won't know. You have until... said that, but I was just not even paying attention yeah, to, I don't you. to but it. But now no, that is very relevant know. to myself. That's, so that's a really, really tough thing for us to get through, I reckon. Just knowing what... Where is he named on the bench? On the extended? Uh, no, he's last. He's last. Yeah. Oh, man. But this, oh, I'll tell you what. There's some duds on that list. There yeah, are some duds yeah. on that bench. So I reckon you'd be right. They've got a few. Like, Seedsman was another one that was back in. Seedsman. Like, surely is he ahead of him because he had a good game last week? Ahead of him? <laughs> yeah. But what's, what's he done wrong? What's Jamie Elliott done wrong here? He's kicked three goals. He scored 100 D2 points. He's named last on the bench. Okay, Unlucky, okay. No, well, here you go. That means, <clears throat> in my eyes, he will definitely play this week. Yeah. But will he play the next? Like, yeah. is he coming? Yeah. But the other thing is this. They only played Melbourne. Yeah. If he can carve up the Suns, he's going to carve up Melbourne just as good. Yep. Yeah. But so, what we need, if we were to trade him in, we need to be pretty guaranteed that he's playing around there. I don't give a crap about the rest of the season. No. I need two games out of him. Yeah. And hope that they're okay. But or is it better? Not only are you getting thing. a game out of him this week, yeah. you're also probably getting a hundred to one hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's right. That's enough. Let's not forget that. Mm. Cool. All right. So this takes us into a nice little segue, you boys. We're going to talk about our bloody donuts that we've got now. We're all eating a fair few this week, and I've probably eaten too many over the course of my life. But <laughs> this week here, we will be going gangbusters. They're going to be yeah. everywhere. I think the things that we can count on. We already know, we knew round one or round bloody couple of weeks ago who was definitely going to be out. And I think for me it was, I think I had two players that were definitely going to be out this week. But then you add into what's, you know, the selection mm. issues. He sure is an extra one for me. Yeah. He's not there. Um, I've also got Alan Christensen, who I'm likely to trade. Um, He's there for me. So I'm going to be rocking in with a few donuts. How about you, boys? How many are you looking at, do you think? Well, <clears throat> I was really proud of how well I structured myself for yeah. the buys. I was looking at probably two to three donuts this week. Mm -hmm. So um, one thing that I have gone, I still went with two premium midfielders that right. were having yeah. a buy this week. So that was borderline risky, but I was still structured pretty well. Now, I expected to, you know, form... Someone might get dropped, yeah. maybe an injury here or there. Yeah. But I have really been thrown out of whack. The The main ones that are hurting me are Pendles, Horsley and Christensen. Yeah. They are the three that I had banked on playing this week. Mm -hmm. So I'm up to five zeros. Right, so the big number four I destroy is five. Yeah, five, five zeros big from, from a planned two. Yeah, that's that's significant. That sucks. And I'm actually with you. I'm on five now. Yeah. That Horsley turns me into a five. What about you, Calvin? Well, I've never been a person who likes to plan for this sort of rubbish. No, you fucking... Because... <laughs> You've ended up the best out <laughs> Because I don't like planning for it. And I started not planning for it when I spat the dummy when Mark Murphy and all those guys... So at that stage, I was planning for it. And then they all just started dying around me. And I thought, well, bloody, what's the point? Oh, so you did. I started to. Right. And then when all the stuff hit the fan, I was like, well, stuff it. Because if I start planning for it now, what's said it's not going to hit the fan later? Which is starting to do for, for you guys. So I didn't plan for it. Um, a few little bits of pieces here and there. In the back of your mind. I am taking four donuts this week. Four I'm taking donuts. Four donuts. donuts the unless I make some trades, which I probably will. Now, just because I make a trade this week and drop that number. Yeah. Just because I'm taking four donuts this week and you're taking five, it means I'm taking more in the next two. Yeah. You know, but unless you trade. Yeah, our strategy in those further rounds, though, will be to minimise those donuts because you'll trade around them. But, like, as I said, tackling Tiddy. Yeah. Right? 
great uh, strategic mind of the game. <laughs> He's taking about eight, right, yeah. in this round. And he was stressing. Isn't I've that got like eight, I've 16, got eight. though? But he's going for a league win. Yeah. Okay, so he's taking eight. Or is he in a different league <laughs> to us? The there is a tackling to their cup. Did he enter a multiple league? I don't know. I don't know. He's going for it. As I said to him, he's got... <laughs> he's going for it and there's setting realistic goals to he's, go, he's got eight donuts, but next week he's got, like, one. And the week after that, he's got hardly any because he'll adjust around. Well, there's so, two wins for him. He might get a league win. Yeah, so he might win two out of the three <laughs> rounds just because one week he's basically thrown. So, good. Yeah, well done, Taylor. Yeah, that's a tackle. He's a great... Well, he worked that out last night, I think. Made me eat my words there, didn't he? He did. Yes, he does. So, so there guys. It is. <laughs> Calvin's captain. No, I've got a lot of issues. You do. Oh. You know my biggest issue? Oh, I forgot about this. Right, let's just oh, go back. Right, hang on. Let's just go back a bit, right? Last week. Oh, I tell you, we have to go that. Yeah, yeah we're doing it. There's the picture. Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. Goodness. Goodness. We're going there. <laughs> Firstly. Don't go there. No, we are going there. All right. Firstly. Take us through. Can, we, pick, can you promise we will never revisit this again? Yes. I picked Steel Side Bottom. I picked Steel Side Bottom because I thought he was going to be the highest scorer in my team. Who did you pick? I picked Steel Side did Bottom. You, why did you pick him? Because you had him as number one in your Calvin's Cup. Why did you pick him? No, why I picked him? Cause because you agreed. I read your article yep. and your statistical analysis yep. was spot on. I thought, that's fantastic. Well, there's stats. Stats don't lie. But... So, you this picked week. other people who picked. Oh, no, well, no, they didn't lie because they told the truth, just that he didn't back it up. Anyway, right. but still side bottom, people out there picked him because you agreed with what the statistics said. Yeah. If you didn't agree, you would have picked someone else. Of course. I have copped a lot of abuse <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> I don't really? mind it. But you know what I do? I don't like abuse from adults, grown people. Right? <laughs> Who, I don't mind the kids. All you kids out there, you can keep giving me shit. I don't mind because that's like water off a pirate's back. <laughs> but when, when I get it from a grown adult, I, that, that hurts because I think to myself, it's so sad that you were really that passionate about something that I said and you decided to copy mm. and that really worked you up that much that you had to write to me. It was It's, it's, it's quite <laughs> sad when adults do it. Kids, go for it. I love it. Adults, have a look at yourselves. Seriously. <laughs> Right, this Bloody week. Brand, I love right, this week. Bloody brilliant. I'm down if I do, I'm down if I don't. Exactly. Right, so I've got Ablett this week. Oh, oh jump on the oh, bed. Right. Hey, I'm going to sit there as number one. Right, right. Oh, oh, I could do this. Yeah. Why don't you just pick the five top averaging players every week? Oh, no, you have, have you? Have I? Oh, no, <laughs> probably. No, I've got a steel back in there. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm glad you stuck to it. This is why. Gun, now, I could easily pick Ablett every week. Yeah. But I'll tell you now, if Ablett was playing this game in Melbourne, he would not be my number one. My top three, Ablett, Swanee and Stanton, I reckon they are a bit of a toss of a coin. One of them is going to smack out a 160 and the others could have 120s. Yeah. Now, if you can work out which one that's going to be, good luck to you. He's going to get the tag from Clinton Jones. Clinton Jones has killed some people in the past. Massively. And I'm talking the last five weeks. Listen to some of his victims. Cochin for 90. Kerr for 64, Mark Murphy for 68. Remember, he towed him up that day. The only guys who scored okay was Sam Mitchell when he got the highest score out of those guys, 112. So Clinton Jones will ride him like nothing. And he did that at Eddie Had in round two. Yeah. yeah. Remember that? Adler got off to a really slow start, yeah. got stitched up by him, something chronic. Yeah. And then just went bang in the third quarter and he ended up walking away with 140. Yeah, he was massive. So. Because of that, and the fact that he averages 135 at Metricon in his last three, that's why he got it. Swanee is going to slaughter oh, Melbourne yeah. badly at the MCG. Just I wish I had him. Another reason for it, it's he's got his he's got it at the stage all to himself on a Monday. Yeah, you know what no I mean. Candles there. No, and there's no other games. Everyone in the footy world's going to be watching this. There'll be a decent crowd there. Refreshing fan footy. It's going to be massive. But do you know my only concern there? What's that? That kid tweeted you, didn't he? Which one? That had talked to Swanee? Yep. Oh, he did? Yeah. yeah. That was a worry. And he said, uh, yes, I'm definitely playing, but 
I'm not, don't put me captain or something. Yeah. Like, I think that's Swanee though. Oh, is it? Oh, no, <laughs> Swanee. Swan he loves to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, Swanee's he's smashed him in the past. Didn't play him last year though. But Melbourne have been obviously bleeding scores to everyone. So, and another one is Stanton. Stanton is playing the Eddie Had. The only reason he gets a, uh, a top three spot this week, he's played Eddie Had four times this year. A 140, 193. 116, 153. Oh, my God, he loves it. He then. just smashes it. So he actually averages about 150 there this year. Yeah. Oh, that is huge. So that that, that, oh, that yeah. reason only is the reason Stanton gets in. But also, Kevin, oh, my mate Steele squares in number five there. I think it would be very good. Now, you called those top three, Calvin. So, the Avengers. They are the Avengers. Yeah, look at the graphic. That's pretty static. Calvin's man. getting pretty bloody that good. It took me a couple of hours on the old paint shop pro, but I got it done. It looks yeah. good. And... Uh, right. Yeah, thanks. So these guys are back. They're, they're to avenge. They're back. Bring them revenge. Get it done, boys. And I've, Get it done. I've called on the big three to do it. Okay. Excellent. All right. Whack off your hat, Calvin. We have the win a $60 Archie voucher. So load up your Twitter, Got a question? boys and girls. Um, can you think of one? Actually, just do one from, I know what we can do. I'll just do it because I just looked at it. Go right, load up your Twitter. We've got at DT Talking and have at Archie Clothing and at Meathead underscore shop. Yep. Load it up. First tweet in. It will win the $60 voucher. The question will be, who did Calvin has have as number four on his captain's list? Whoa. We didn't actually talk about him. Number four. Who, who did Calvin have? have? Don't know. I'll go back and have a read of that. Oh, no, look. Number one was Ablett. Two was Swanee. Three was Stanton. Uh-oh. Four was... It was... Lidio, Lidio. Lids, was it? Someone's already got that on there, surely. Unless I've given away the answer, dog. Yeah. A lot of people have said beams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you put up the old graphic. Yeah. Ah. Beams is their last wow. The new well, one. Listen Twitter. to you say it. Thanks for listening. Good win. Thanks for yeah, the article. For this week, so well done. Uh, well done to Johnny Utah. You are the first person to send that in. So, Johnny Utah, um, I'll give you a quick... Oh, we are... Follow you. Right, can you direct message us your email address, Johnny Utah? Congratulations. Johnny Utah, mate. he's great value on Twitter, yep. Johnny. Does he abuse you, Calvin? I'm going to check, and if he did, you can kiss that voucher goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, delete your old tweets. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm serious. Oh, you know, you're serious. Yes, we know. Because you're the one. All right, so thank you very much to Archie and Lita. We met to Archie's Archie. name, though. No. It's wicked. Did you see his picture? No. It is Johnny Utah. We are. Oh, we met Sheets from Archie. He's yes, we did. Yeah, he from across the road. Yeah. Down at, uh, down at Aurora plot. Stadium. So that was cool. All right, boys, let's quickly have a look at some tweets. All right, we're going to quickly look at a few tweets here, boys. Um, what have we got? I think we've got a fair few coming through. I've got a quick one here, Doc. Oh, go for it. Uh, after his world record last week, Yep. Should we be looking at Buddy? Surely he's going to kill Port. Oh, well, that's your domain. Yeah, no, and I'm right onto it. Um, yes. I don't think he will. Um, I don't think he's going to score over 100 against them. That's a big call. It is. Uh, he that's did have 142 last time he played Port. You know what? He has never scored 100 at AB Stadium. Ever. Right. Yeah. And that 100 that's that he scored against Port in his last game, the 142, was his first 100 against them ever in his career of 10 games. So... What's his name? Carlisle will go to him. Yeah. And I think he's going to find it a bit tougher this week. So I'm saying no to Buddy. Right, no to Buddy. Roy, you got one there? Yep. Um, Caleb's written in and said, Cloak looking good value at 335. Mm. And yes, on potential, he's looking great value for 335. Yep. He went on a couple of streets yep. last year, putting together like a month worth of big hundreds. He is. He has gone like out and yeah. He will smash Melbourne this week too, so you'll get instant reward for that. Yeah, I um, like it. Yeah, I think he's good value. Jump on. Just another one uh, here. Um, just a quick chat about the best rookie that has not played yet. Um, we sort of mentioned that in the show. I think Mitchell is right At the moment, up he would there. Be. Mitchell and Couch would have to be up there as yeah. guys. Um, someone asked me this question as part of a article that I wrote. Um, was who's the best ruck that hasn't played? Now, because people are looking at downgrade and trying to do a bit of a cash grab through that. Yep. Um, Tom Campbell, is that his name? Oh, the, from uh, the Bulldogs. Bulldogs. He's yeah. a bit of a tall forward. So he might be an option there. Like, who knows? But he, if you're going to go to one, that's who I <coughs> studied out there and tried to find. Yep. 
he was the one that if you were to downgrade that, but you know, he's not someone to be playing on your ground. But I reckon there will be a few rookies coming through. We're just gonna have to bide our time. Otherwise, jump on. Well, you don't really want to jump on now because they're not guaranteed to play with these buyers when you need them. But if you were jumping on someone like a Mitchell or a Couch would be a good option to just catch. Got a quick from. one for you, dog. He's asked me, but I reckon you're the man for this one. This is Harrison. Yep. Uh, but he wants the best round eleven buy. Uh, so the re best round eleven buy premium midfield option. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's trading Horsley. Yep. But he's basically tanking this week. Right. So he's throwing this so week. So he's going to get him now. He's going to no. I think he's oh. going to turn Horsley into a guy that's having a buy this week. Next week, who would he get? Oh well, next week. That's a good call. Don't do it this week because anything can happen. Yeah. yeah. Um. But. Scott Thompson is probably the one to get as sort of the bit cheaper guy. Yep. I do like Prudis and the value that he offers, but he's probably still only going to be a hundred average. Are we assuming he's only? got Boyd? Oh yeah, Boyd. We're well, Boyd. He's got Boyd. If you were trying to pick your best, it would be Boyd. Yeah. Then it would be. And then you've got Rocky there as well. Yeah. <laughs> would no, you touch him? No. Not at the moment. Redden, no. you would. He's been quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Boyd. Thompson, and then sheer value, Prittis has to be in the mix. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's 100000 you can spend somewhere else with Prittis. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's huge. Um, yeah, so those guys would be who I've got. Any other questions? Yeah, just one last one here, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, Aussie Page has written in. Mumford. He's kept him. Yeah. He's kept Mumford. Oh. Will he return for an easy 90-plus worth of scores, or is he... You know, or does he have we to had a low score now? last week, didn't he? Like it was a, so, really so is he going to be yeah. back or should he dump him? After that, I think you're just best to stick with him. If you've ridden with him for this long, yeah. stick with him. And mate. just hope that he'll come back okay. and average 80 to 90. Yeah, which he will. Year. Like, think about it. He's been really crook, so he's been doing And nothing. he'll have a buy shortly as well. Um, thing with this, more to the point, I can keep him, but who should he be playing like... Redden or Oren instead of Mumford still until Mummy shows his back. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to go. Yeah, good call. He's up against some good rucks this week <coughs> the Bombers. Who would you, if you, this week, if yep. you had Mumford v Oren, which one would you put on the ground? Mumford. Right. I, I'll back, I'm a primo backup. Yeah. Destroy. Back in your primo, you pay top dollar for him. You've sat him there for a moment like this. Get him on the field. Yeah, good call. All right, cool. All right, well, that's just about us for tonight, I think, because, um, yeah, we're going to go and do a hell of a lot looking at our teams and work it out <laughs> what we're going to be doing. Good thing we're on holidays at the moment. So Have you got a clip of Sean before we go? Oh, yeah, Calvin found this little clip on I didn't internet. find it. I just like it. It's going to be easy for me this week anyway. I've only got to find one button. What's that button? Delete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll leave you with this. And, uh, yeah, good luck tomorrow, and hopefully all your players end up playing and not knocked out of those extended benches and stuff. So, yeah. so you like donuts, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, have all the donuts in the world! <laughs> More. Up, 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 up